and welcome to the Lark Athletic Awards. My name is Tim Cole. And my name is Casey Cole. And we will be your hosts. Today is the first episode in our four-part awards series. We will be releasing a new episode each day at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We want to honor the fact that you've been sitting in front of a computer screen for a long time, so we're hoping to make these episodes short and sweet. The Athletic Awards are a part of Awards Week here at Heston College. We hope you're able to tune in to Lark Fest, and we look forward to your participation in commencements this Saturday. We hope to find a way to honor your time here at Heston College, and while this would all be way better in person, we hope to find a way to look back on all that we have accomplished this past year and share memories that we have made together. So Tim, what do we have in store for our athletes in episode one of the Lark Awards? Hmm. Well, Casey, we wanted to start off with the words from our athletic director, Chris Noctegall. We've got a few questions for you. Are you ready for this? Oh, I'm more than ready. All right, Casey, why don't you start us off with the first question? Gladly. So, Chris, obviously we know the coaches coach the players, but your role is a little bit different. Really, you're the coach to the coaches. What is that like? It's an honor and a privilege when you get to work with people that you share life with. I have an incredible team to work with. They really make my job so worthwhile, and I know that they impact the students in, cr in incredible ways. I want to thank the head coaches for everything that they do. They're not only coaches, they're mentors, advisors, teachers, fundraisers, administrators, counselors, and the many more hats that they wear. Nobody truly can understand all the work that they do behind the scenes to give our student athletes a great experience. I also want to thank the assistant coaches. They play an integral part in each of our programs. Without you, our head coaches would not be able to do the things that they do. You help make our programs run smoothly and efficiently. Lastly, but not least, to our coaches' spouses, thank you for partnering with our coaches to give our student athletes an incredible experience this year. Coaching is a partnership between the spouses. That takes dedication and commitment from both people. And I know for a fact our coaches have incredible spouses. Yes, they do, Chris. Yes, they do. And that volleyball coach is spouse. Next question, what does it take to have athletic events on Heston College campus? We want our events to be some of the best around for our student athletes. To run an effective athletic event at Heston requires a lot of things behind the scenes. Setup of the venue, administration, lining up game workers, cleanup, and much more. Thank you to our volunteers who help with that. Rusty Witcher, the voice of the Larks, our announcers, Charles Hosettler and Carl Brubaker and Dave Osborne, and our scorebook keeper, Chuck Buchman. I also want to thank our SID, Jacob Gibbs, and our event manager this year, Brian Kerr. It sure does take a lot of people to make events happen. So this next question, let's talk about what are some of the hard things about being an athletic director? There are some very difficult things to being an athletic director. Even though I don't coach players anymore, I still am connected and want to see our athletes succeed and grow. Some of the hardest things for me is seeing athletes injured. But thankfully, we have an amazing athletic training staff in Whitney Worth and Serena Little that help us with that. We also want to create a close-knit group in our coaching staff and, our, and just our athletic department in general. So it's difficult to see coaches go. So I want to thank the coaches that are leaving this year, Todd Lehman, Casey Cole, and Tim Cole, and Chase Glom. They have done an amazing job over the course of the last year for us, and I'm just grateful to have them, and I wish them the best as they move on from here. Thanks, Chris. We appreciate that. Well, our final question for you, what words do you have for all the Lark Athletics athletes as we end the 2019-2020 sports seasons? Thank you to our student athletes. It has been amazing to watch you grow and to see you have succeed on the field, court, and in the classroom this year. Sophomores, we will miss you. Thanks for the many ways you have contributed to our campus, our lives, and the way you have represented the college the last two years. Many of you will go on to further your education and playing careers. Come back and visit us, please. Think about someday coming back to work at this place in some capacity so that you can help other young people have a similar experience as you have had, or to make it better. Freshmen and incoming players, 
We look forward to another year of competition and growth from you. Think about the things you want to accomplish next year and the kind of leader you want to be for the incoming freshman class in the fall. Hard work over the summer so you can be poised to accomplish those things. Lastly, I want to leave you with our Lark Way verse, Hebrews 12, 1 through 3. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. We are living in a changing reality, but there is one constant, Jesus Christ, and he has loved you before you were even born. Stand strong in him and surround yourself with people that will hold you accountable. Blessings and go Larks! Well, Chris, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for all you do behind the scenes for our athletic department and our athletes. Okay, we're about to wrap up our first episode of the Lark Athletic Awards, but first, we want you to vote for your favorite play of the year. Voting will be open from the end of this episode to the end of tomorrow. So go to Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, at GoLarks, to find the four different nominees for play of the year and vote for your favorite. Like Casey said, voting will only be open from now until tomorrow night. So make sure you tell us your favorite. So, Casey, what do we have to look forward to in these next few episodes? Well, tomorrow night, we get to hear from two of our very own student athletes. The following episodes will have highlights of the many achievements our athletes have made both on the court and in the classroom. Then we will end our series with the coveted Athlete of the Year Award and the results of the athlete voted Play of the Year. So don't forget to vote. Well, Larks, that's all we have for you tonight. Like we said, short and sweet. Thanks for being a part of our program tonight. We look forward to being with you tomorrow night, same time, same place, as we continue episode two of the Lark Athletic Awards. Hashtag the Lark way. Hashtag Lark me up. Hashtag fear the nest. Hashtag go Larks. Hashtag dirty birds. With a Z. Hashtag our flock rocks. Hashtag sharks. <laughs> Good, Good night. night.